What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves video. Today, we'll be doing another combat breakdown. This time, Sloop vs. Sloop. If you're a solo player, this is a situation you will run into quite a lot. So hopefully you learn some useful tips for your next engagement. The video starts with me sailing to Steven Spoils to hand in some stolen rag and bone crates under hot pursuit from another sloop. Fortunately, I had the wind advantage and was able to cash in before they could catch me. Realizing this, the sloop broke off their chase. I, however, decided to circle around behind them to finish off what they had started. To be fair, I don't think these guys were expecting any retaliation. Once they became aware of the situation, they tried to turn their boat into a good firing arc, but it was already too late. My plan was to rake their top deck with cannonballs, prevent them from returning fire, while occasionally landing a few shots to the waterline for added damage. If you ever find yourself on the receiving end of something like this, your best course of action is to drop sails and immediately begin repairs. You don't want to be on the offensive in this situation. Now I'm going to pause the video here. Can you spot the critical mistake this crew made which will cause them to lose the fight? They sent over a border. At this point, I know the battle is over. Your ship has heavy damage, one pirate is in the water, and the other is still attempting to return fire instead of repairing. If you have watched my previous videos, I talk a lot about how to prevent being boarded by lowering your sails a tiny bit, effectively removing swimmers from the engagement entirely. With the border neutralized, I continue to wreak havoc on the sloop until it sinks and clean up anyone left in the water. Notice that this border has a blunderbuss, which is the least effective weapon to have while in the water. This guy is down to 40% health, and a single pistol shot will finish him off, so I jump in after him. Sadly, Hit Reg fails me, and now it's a race to regain the high ground. second pirate respawns, and fortunately for me, he too has a blunderbuss. Given his distance away, he poses little threat and is quickly dispatched. Once I am finally able to reboard my boat, I quickly reload my pistol and engage, ending the fight. There you go everyone. I hope you're able to pick up some useful tips. If you like this video, I suggest you check out the card in the corner where I take on a galleon and a kraken at the same time. It's a good one. Also, if you enjoy my content, leave me a like, a subscribe, or a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.